are a lot of different ways to tackle 4x4 terrain. If you need to go anywhere and do anything, well, you have a lot of choices. But if you're one of those people who thinks that everybody's got Jeeps and, well, Land Rover Defenders, well, everybody's got one these days. <laughs> Maybe you need to think about one of these. This is a 1973 Stair Hoosh Pinsgauer 710. And it's really cool. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, it was made in Austria. So consider it kind of the terminator of off-road vehicles. It was made for the military applications of Austria, but it was also popular with the Swiss Army, just like the knives, best of class. And in this case, this one is actually bearing the flags of Scotland. You know, what makes the Hinsgauer so unique is that while it seems very imposing, it's six feet nine inches tall. It's actually only about 165 inches long. To give you a, a sense of perspective, when this one came out in 1973, you could buy a Porsche 911, which was actually two inches longer. A modern Corvette? Well, that's nearly two feet longer than this thing. One of the keys to the Pinsgauer's amazing off-road capabilities are these portal axles. Now, what's a portal axle? Well, basically, it uses a gear inside here to allow the wheel center line to be below the axle. It just gives it more ground clearance. So this is a 10-person troop carrier. This specific unit has been fitted with an insulated cloth top. That was actually an aftermarket uh, option for Pinsgauer owners. And this actually turns it into a, a more uh, seasonably adequate place to be. And uh, if you're a camper or overlander, it actually makes it a place you can sleep and enjoy yourself. Now another thing that the owner of this vehicle did, which was really great, is install seat belts all around, aftermarket seat belts. So uh, it's not as dangerous as it would be if you were actually in the military going through the Swiss Alps, uh, just hanging on for dear life. So back here, it's about seven and a half feet. So a six foot four guy, oh, plenty of room. Although. The benches are kind of narrow, so the best sleeping is on the floor down here. Yeah, like most military vehicles, you know, comfort is not priority one. It's about as warm and cozy in here as your typical Albanian army barracks. You know, actually the seats are not church pew flat and uncomfortable. They're fairly comfortable, uh, but it, it's pretty Spartan in here. Operations, it's fairly simple. There are not many controls. It's a 24 volt system, so you've got two 12 volt batteries, which means with nothing really electronic to control, the chances of coming in and having a dead battery are slim to none. So startup is actually really simple. You got a choke down here, turn the key, and that's it. The pedals are spaced kind of like a meth addict's teeth. <laughs> There's a lot of space there. You'd have to have Andre the Giant's size 26 feet to heel and toe for this one. But once you get the hang of it, it works. Transmission can be a bit belligerent. You start kind of getting the hang of it though. First is across and down, and sometimes it just doesn't want to go in there. So you gotta play in the different gears to get it in. It's pretty good now. 
the second thing you'll realize is that it's actually not that hard to turn. And the turning radius is insanely tight. I mean, better than most sports cars. I mean, this means it can get through the tightest trails. Now when it comes to handling, there's not nice steering. It's somewhat numb, but because you're sitting right over the drive wheels, you know exactly where you're going. Steering is in very nice. It's not too quick, it's not too vague. Braking? Yeah, let's just say, it stops quickly, but stops a little sideways too. The brakes are more than up to the task of stopping it on a Alpine Pass. But just try not to have to put your foot through the floorboards for a panic stop because it can get a little sketchy. Stuff that blends 
credibility that this will go anywhere and do anything. Look, there are a lot of things that make this a really great vehicle. I mean, it's maneuverable, it's 